Developing this morning, billions of social security numbers have been exposed on the dark web. A group of hackers claiming to have stolen nearly 3 billion records of personal information. That includes names, social security numbers and addresses. And then it was leaked. It's believed that information comes from a business called National Public Data. According to its website, it's used by other companies to obtain criminal records, background checks and more. That news may have a lot of people worried this morning, wondering what options they may have. We're joined now by Professor Mark Dodson from Cooley Law School to talk more about this hack and its impact. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here with us. Good morning. How are you? Uh, doing well. Thanks so much for your time. So if, if we're worried that our social security number uh, could be part of this hack, how do we know if we are impacted? Well, there are a number of ways you might find out. You can find out by, uh, if you already got a credit monitoring service, um, they will often notify you if indeed your social security number shows up on the dark web or any of the other information that might've been released. That's one way. Uh, you it, it might show up because you start getting a, a litany or a deluge of text messages from supposed folks asking for information, asking you to confirm things that come from sites that look like they're legitimate. It might show up because you see some uh, unusual activity on your credit card, or your bank, your bank account, et cetera. You might start getting phone calls. So those are the ways that they might start uh, manifesting itself. Okay, you mentioned credit monitoring. Is there anything else that we could do to protect ourselves? Uh, other than being vigilant, uh, you can you can contact the the number. The first thing I would do is contact one of the three credit monitor uh, credit agencies and put a freeze on your uh, on your on your account which prevents people from being able to access them in the event that they need approval from the credit agency to open up accounts, et cetera. I would start there and it's very simple. It only takes maybe 15 to 20 minutes to do so. You call them, make sure you have some information already available, like your name, your birth date, your address, your phone number, social security number, and a PIN number, at least for, at least for TransUnion anyway. And you, and you make up your own PIN number and make sure it's a creative PIN number and not one that just reflects maybe your address or a combination of your address and your phone number, et cetera. So that's where I would start. And then in the event that you decide that you're gonna ask, you're gonna, you're gonna seek credit for whatever reason, then you can just easily go on and, uh, and, and unfreeze it just as easily as you froze it. So that's where I would start. Okay, that's great advice. And you know, since we all have a social security number, you know, we're, we're taught early on to memorize that number. It's very important. Do you ever see the U.S. moving away from the social security uh, number system to something else? Yeah, I, right now, no. I, I suppose that might be a consideration. But even if you do move away from the social security number, they're going to you still got some creative fees out here. They'll find they'll find the workaround to access whatever the new system might employ. Uh, but right now, I don't. I don't know how they. I don't know necessarily. Necessarily, if they'll move entirely away from the social security process, I think what they may do is minimize the significance of the social security number when it comes to certain processes like getting credit and, and uh, getting loans and and things along that lines. Yeah, it'd be a huge endeavor. But you know, it's a question that we had to ask, uh, Professor Dotson. Thank you so much for your time. We certainly appreciate it. Yeah, this is serious. So I would I would definitely recommend it's a good thing that you guys are doing this this morning because they need to take the steps in there and they're relatively easy steps that you can take to protect yourself. Thank you. Good morning to you too. Absolutely. Thank you so much again.